Hello everyone, this is a tutorial video on how to set up warning signals on Momo platform. Just a quick introduction. Warning signal is a set of signals that tell us the market is ready for a correction. For instance, on the day after I published the warning signal video, I also shared with my community friends that the warning signals have converged to overbought again, as the market rebounded very fast. If look on the NASDAQ Composite Index closely, indeed, on Friday, all warning signals converge to each other. The price level is far above EMA 20, at the upper band of the Bollinger Band. The both RSI and the Stochastic Oscillators are at the overbought region. Indeed, the index retraced for almost 330 points on the next day. Please refer to my previous video here to understand the complete principle on how to apply the warning signals. Definitely, this would help you to sharpen your investing strategy. Personally, I prefer to use my laptop to perform my stock analysis. Thus, I will be using desktop version of Momo apps to demonstrate the setup of the warning signals. Let's open the NASDAQ chart, click Codes, by IXIC. First, set out the EMA 20. On the top right corner, click Charge Management. Other than the EMA 20, uncheck the rest. Then, it is done. Next, set out the Bollinger Band. On the same panel of the Indicator Management, click on BOLL. The first value is SMA. The default value is 20. You may just leave it there as we also set out EMA 20. In fact, both SMA 20 and EMA 20 do not have too much difference. To me, upper band is more important. Next number is the Standard Deviation. The default is 2 and it is good enough for us to view this level. If we increase the standard deviation, the band interval is increasing. Different stock has different characters. You may adjust the standard deviation accordingly for the stock that you are specially looking at. For the major index, the default setting of Bollinger Band is good enough. We can also adjust the width and opacity of the line. I will just leave them as default. In addition, we can also check the indicator introduction over here. Futumumu platform indeed provides a good explanation to all the indicators here. It also provides the calculation method for each of the indicator. The stochastic oscillator is under sub section. Select KDJ. KDJ is a derived form of the stochastic oscillator indicator with the only difference of having an extra line called the J line. In my case, I only need to see if both K and D lines are at the level of above 80, which is at the overbought region, or below 20, which is the oversaw region. Thus, I will uncheck J line. I will set my K line period to 9. D line period will remain as 3. When we click on KDJ, we could see the threshold level of 80 and 20 here. We can draw two lines on level 80 and 20 for easy reference. Click horizontal line here, then go to value 80. Click it. Please note that there is a bug on the system. Thus, it will be extremely difficult to adjust the value after we draw the line. Then, we can draw another line at 20 as also region. Change the color. Lock them so the lines won't be moving around. Then we are done for the stochastic oscillator. The last indicator is RSI. It is right below the KDJ. For RSI, I will only use length of 14. Uncheck the rest. 
with the length of 14, the value above 65 is considered as overboard. Next, we can also draw two lines, one at level 65. Then, we mark level 30 as our sort region. Change the color. Lock them. And yet, we are done for the RSI. Next, we can move these indicators on the main page for easier reference as well. On the code page, click Indicator Management. Here, we can remove those indicators that we do not use. Let me remove this first. Well, now only the warning signals left here. It will be much easier for us to refer now. If you accidentally click wrongly, you can add them back by looking for the indicators here. Futumumu in fact provides a lot of other indicators. You may look for them under these major categories. MA and EMA can be found under Trend. ISI and KBJ can be found under Overbought and Oversold. Lastly, let us try on the back testing of the warning signals that we have set. First, activate the warning signals EMA, BOLL, KDJ, and ISI. We could see that the warning signals managed to tell us the market was overbought in the end of August. It also managed to warn us about the correction in October. Similarly, this year, the warning signals managed to warn us for the major correction in February and April even the most recent major correction in July. Let me know if you have any issue on setting the warning signals on Momo Platform account. I will be happy to help. Thank you and see you in the next video.